Hey, uh, thanks again for letting me use your phone. No problem. Look, so they cut off your phone because you couldn't pay the bill. Happens to the best people. I mean, you know Fat Vinny, the wino that hangs out on Ventura? The former network executive? <laughs> That's him. Well, we were sharing a bottle the other night, and he told me his phone was shut off, too. So don't you feel bad. It can happen to anybody. Well, that's comforting. Uh, listen, Mr. Donatelli, how would you like to invest 20 bucks in my future and get my phone turned back on? Oh, sorry, Norm. Last week was the wife's birthday, and she collects hatchets. Well, the good ones ain't cheap. Not if you love the sport. <laughs> Did you see that? He came out of my apartment. Oh, yeah, he does that all the time. <laughs> I thought I asked you to change my lock. Oh, I did. Kid sold me a good one. <laughs> Gee. Come on in, it's open. <clears throat> uh, I saw what you did. Oh, wait a minute, I should have known. I had a feeling someone has been using my typewriter and someone has been sitting in my chair. Someone been eating your porridge, too, Norman? <laughs> this is serious. That is my home. I pay the rent, I pay utilities. And I, I just paid your phone bill. Just went over to see if it was working. You know the phone company is. Feeling a little small, Norman? <laughs> well, um... What do you say when someone gives you an unexpected gift, except, um... Uh, What's the catch? Norman, baby, there's no catch. I did it out of generosity, out of the kindness of my heart, and out of the knowledge that you're going to feel obligated to do me a favor someday. No, no, I want my phone turned back off this instant. It's too late. We shook. But, Julie, why won't you go to the Harvest Ball with me? Remember two years ago, when you were 14? I asked you out, you said you only date boys your own age? Well, I'm 14 now. <laughs> yeah, but Eli, I'm 16 now. I'm closing in on you, babe. <laughs> I love her. Hey, 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 look. This is only temporary. I'm gonna pay you back in two weeks. Norm, you wound me. <laughs> Just consider this a favor. And who knows, someday I may need that favor in return. It's just nice to know that if that happens, I can come to you. It's one in a million chance. Those odds are good for even a loser like you. Reach out and touch someone. Hey, Matt, um... I don't know if you remember, but a couple of days ago, you said you were going to get me a date for the Harvest Ball. Oh, yeah, look, I'm trying. It was just, I was working on Stacy for myself. So it was between me and Bill, but he had to make a sudden trip to South America, so I'm a lock. Oh, Matthew, the police dogs found Bill in that crate at the airport. <laughs> He'll be deloused in time for the ball. You're going stag, baby. <laughs> what are you so happy about? Well, my life's fine. I got two seniors and a junior to choose from. Whoa, whoa! Does this mean I'm fourth? <laughs> no, Eli, you're fifth. Right behind... Earth. <laughs> At least I'm ahead of wind and fire. Hey, maybe I should take Monica. I don't love her, but at least her eyebrows are going back in. I'll take Monica. <laughs> hey, maybe I should take Doreen. She was just recently upgraded from easy to effortless. I'll take Doreen. Yeah, but Stacy won't go out with guys who've gone out with Doreen. Hey, Matt. How's Joanne's hair weave coming in? Um, I think I'm going home now. Okay, take care, Eli. Yeah. Let's face it, Matt. You're never gonna find a date in time for the dance. Look, I'll get a date and she'll be a ten. Yeah, maybe eight ones and a two. <laughs> Hi, Eli. Hi. What's the matter? Do you really care, or are you just asking because you don't have a phone? I wouldn't ask if I didn't care. Come on in. Gee, thanks, Mr. Lamb. I don't know what Matt was talking about. This place isn't wallpapered with welfare checks. 
Well, he exaggerates. For instance, he's probably told you he's gonna live to see 16. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, it's about girls. Eli, you've come to the right guy. I know, because you and me were both born without the benefit of good looks. <laughs> but you're going with Mrs. Burton, and she's real good looking. So I figure you must know something. So could you help me out? Because I'm having real trouble getting anybody to go out with me. Well, uh, first, I'd like to say I'm flattered. Actually, I'd like to say get out, but us homely guys have to stick together. I don't like you calling me homely. A thousand pardons. Now, exactly what kind of girl were you looking for? Julie. <laughs> she calls you seepage. Yeah. yeah, well, you see, there's, there's also the fact that, that she's older than you and want you as she might, uh, you know, maybe she's a little touchy about dating an underclassman. So that's what seepage means. <laughs> uh, more or less, yeah. Um, listen, Eli, Julie's not the only girl in the world. Uh, now, why don't you look for somebody who's a little less beautiful, but with whom you have a lot more in common? You know, someone you're comfortable with, someone, uh, with your own interests, your own uh, likes. You mean female seepage. <laughs> exactly. Gee, thanks, Mr. Lamb. I'm gonna go get myself a date. And Mr. Lamb, hmm? remember that stuff I said about how you weren't good looking or nothing? Yeah. It doesn't really matter, because you have a great personality. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> oh, no! I finally got myself a day for the Harvest Ball and completely forgot about Eli. Do you know anybody to go out with him? Sure, the pizza man, the ice cream man, <laughs> and the lady on TV that goes abondanza. <laughs> Come on, can't you help me? He's my best friend. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Guess we both did. Eli? I guess I didn't hear your first two knocks. <laughs> maybe your door's broken. Yeah, maybe. Uh, listen, Eli, um, I owe you an apology. I didn't get your date for tomorrow. But, but listen, these dances, they're really boring, so why don't I cancel my date and uh, you, you and me will go to the movies or something? It's okay, Matt, you don't have to. Yes, I do because I forgot about you, and that's something that'll never happen again. Come on, Matt, you do more for me than anybody already. Well, it's not enough. So just forget about the dance. You and me are going to the movies. But I can't, Matt. What can I tell Joyce? Joyce who? Joyce Baylor, my date. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's not great or nothing. Between you and me, she's a trifle plump. <laughs> Which for me is a turnoff but it's a date. All right, Eli, I'm proud of you. Way to go. Thanks. I owe it all to Norman. <laughs> Norman? Well, you were so busy and all that I had to talk with him, and he gave me some advice on how to get a date. You know, Norman's really a great guy, and he's smart, and if you ever have a problem, you should talk to him. I know I'm gonna from now on. All right, no, no wait a second. This is my fault. I'm not a good friend. I, I drove you to Norman. <laughs> it's okay, Matt. I understand. You had other things on your mind. I'm not that important. You are important. You're my friend. And friends shouldn't have to go to strangers for help. He did help me get a date. He got you a wildebeest. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a date. And not just any date. I'm gonna get you the date. You mean? That's right, Eli. You're going to the Harvest Ball with Julie, dead or alive. 
Either would be okay. <sighs> Come on, Julie. I never ask you for anything. Please go out with Eli. I'd rather shower in women's prison. <laughs> You'll probably get your chance, but... <laughs> but back to Eli. Now, I can't even believe you're asking me to do this. Come on, Amy. Asmerelda dated Quasimodo. <laughs> Faye Ray dated King Kong. Susan Anton dates Dudley Moore. That means nothing. They're all make-believe people. <laughs> Sis... All right, all right, sit down. Oh, no. You don't remember Dad, do you? I remember him better than you do. I'm older. But he didn't like you. <laughs> I remember he said to me, Son, your sister's a beautiful girl, and she's gonna grow up to be a beautiful woman. Now, one day, she's gonna wanna go to the Harvest Ball. Have her go with Eli. <laughs> then he died. Mom said he died of a heart attack while watching American Sportsman. <laughs> Might have been Grandpa then. <laughs> you don't remember Grandpa, do you? Why is this so important to you? It's only Eli. Yeah, it's Eli. See, you don't understand. I mean, I've known Eli since the first day of kindergarten. I walked in, I, I saw some guys playing with some dough. I went over to join them. I looked and I said, hey, that, that's not dough, that's a kid. <laughs> That's how I met Eli. <laughs> Matthew, you could have anyone for a best friend. Why Eli? Well, I don't know. How do you explain why someone's your best friend? It's like, well, well you have a lot of friends. Can you trust any of them? I mean, 100% trust them. Of course, Angela. Oh, is this the same Angela that glued your locker shut because you said she looked bad and green? <laughs> well, yeah, but we always get back together. Well, Eli and I never left. He's not jealous, he doesn't have a mean bone in his body, and he doesn't ask for much. I mean, everybody in this world wants something. Eli, all he wants is a date with you. Well, thanks for being honest with me, Matthew. And you know what I think? What? I think you ought to marry Eli. <laughs> All right, look, you want to break his heart? Fine. Nothing more I can do. doesn't find its way to the police. Forget about it. Well, Mom sees her, she's going to be mad. <laughs> I'm not going out with him. <laughs> Can I go now? Well, where's the blood, Fred? I paid for blood. Angela, listen. The dance ends at 11. We'll just tell our mothers that we're on cleanup squad and we won't be home till 1. Are you kidding? My mother believes anything. Remember that time I got sick on beer? 
Yeah, my mother actually bought the story that I was dizzy from doing somersaults at cheerleading practice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my brother's home. I gotta go. Bye-bye. Well, hello, Matthew, dear. Just getting back from Eli's. Yep. And how did he take the news? Uh, you should have seen his face. He was so happy when I told him you were gonna be his date. <laughs> And why, pray tell, would you say that? Well, because you've got compassion, you've got heart, and I've got this. <laughs> Let's listen in, shall we? Remember that time I got sick on beer? <laughs> uh, don't they make a lovely couple? Let's say we get a picture for the mantelpiece. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Wipe your eye. Okay, you two party animals, say beer. Beer. <laughs> hey, Jewel, I got us ride to the dance. Well, that's something. Yeah, my Uncle Jocko drives a bus. <laughs> Should be swinging by any minute. You know what else? There's more. Yep, I had them put our names where it usually says Tustin. <laughs> yep, right on time. Here's your token. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Burton. Thanks, Matt. Uh, that was kind of nice of his Uncle Jocko to change the sign, but won't people going to Tustin be confused? <laughs> Oh, Mom, people going to Tustin already are. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pick up my date. Oh, Matthew, before you go, there's something I really want to say to you. Yeah? Uh, Julie doesn't really like Eli. <laughs> really, Mom? <coughs> See, I know she's just doing this because she feels sorry for him, but that's all right. I'm glad my children care. Oh, thanks, Mom. Well, actually, Matthew, you didn't do anything. <laughs> but I just hope you can learn something from your sister's behavior. I did. <laughs> well, you have a really nice time. Thank you. Bye-bye. <sighs> Bye. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm Joyce Baylor. Oh, Eli's, uh, date. Well, former date. Eli canceled. Well, Eli's not here. Actually, I came to see you. Well, since you're his best friend, I was hoping maybe you could tell me why he called their date off. I asked him, but he didn't say. I guess he didn't want to hurt my feelings. So I thought maybe you could tell me. I heard around school that people's feelings don't matter much to you. <laughs> I, I can see where my magnetic charm could be mistaken for uh, apathy. <laughs> Why did he dump me? J Joyce, s sit down. Eli didn't dump you. See, this is my fault. You know Julie, my sister? Well, she has a disease. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's a fungus, but uh, you know how guys are when they hear a girl has a fungus, boy, they run for the hills. <laughs> Don't you think I would hear if a cheerleader had a fungus? <laughs> okay, listen. The truth is, Eli really wanted to go to the dance with you. But uh, my sister waited too late to make a decision, so she ended up with no date. <laughs> I couldn't let her go to the dance alone. She's my sister. So I asked Eli to take her. And for once in his life, he put up a fight. But we've been friends for so long. I he did it for me. I'm just sorry I didn't take your feelings into consideration. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew it had to be something like that. 
I'll see you at the dance, okay? Yeah, I gotta pick up my date. Listen, uh, sorry again. You know, it's not like Eli is the guy I always wanted. It's just that I told all my friends. Finally got a date. They're all there, waiting for me to show up with someone. And that's all Eli would have been to me. But it would have been a lot. Because just once, I wanted to walk into a dance with somebody, anybody, just so I didn't have to sit there alone while everyone else had a good time. Lovely. Thanks so much, Angela. <laughs> Listen, after the dance, Steve and I are gonna go to the point. Would you and Eli like to come join us? Here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's Joyce. She does have a date. He's cute, too. How'd she manage that? Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> Hi, Joyce. Having fun with Norman? Oh, yes. Yeah, he's one in a million. 